The name of God is I am. That I am. Now, every time you use the name I am, you are using the name of God. How do you use this name? In the book of Joel, there's a line that says, Let the weak man say, I am strong. Now, one of the things that I want to leave you with here in the time that I have with you today is for you to become conscious of how you use this term, I am. So what I encourage you to do in terms of manifesting is to take out a piece of paper sometime when you're at home, and it's a, it, it sounds like a silly thing to do, but I want you to do it. I want you to write at the top of that page the word that, T-H-A-T, that. Okay? And under that heading, whatever it is that you would like to attract or manifest into your life, I would like you to just write that down. All right? So if it's a job that you want, if it's a relationship that you want, if it's a, uh, a healing that you want, if it's a abundance that you want to attract into your life, whatever it is, just place it underneath that. And come to a place in your life where it is spoken about in the book of Romans, in the New Testament, he calls those things which do not exist as though they did. You must be able to get to this place in your life where you don't use the evidence of your senses, what your eyes tell you, what your ears tell you, what your stomach tells you, what you see written down, what the Internet tells you. You want to be able to be in a place where you are living from the end as if what you would like to manifest is already there. To make a present, a future dream, a present fact, you must assume the feeling of that wish as already being fulfilled. Your subconscious mind is listening to how you are asking the universe to provide for you what it is that you would like to attract or manifest into your life. And if you fill your subconscious mind with all of the things that you don't want, that you don't like, that make you unhappy, that make you depressed, that make you worry, then your subconscious mind, which is impersonal, and remember, it can't make a distinction between what it is that you are feeling as a result of what you place into your mind or what is actually happening in your life. It doesn't distinguish one from the other. It's totally impersonal. It's just open to suggestion. And here you are suggesting to your subconscious mind, which will, when you awaken, you will align with the universal subconscious mind, the one mind. You know, there's millions of people out there in the world. There's millions of you watching this program. And you can see the difference between each and every one of you on the basis of your appearances. But there's only one mind. That's what the great spiritual texts all teach us. So now, if you, if you program your subconscious mind to tell yourself, to go over all the things you don't want, all the things you don't like, all the things that shouldn't have happened, all the ways that you were mistreated, all about how terrible the economy is, and, you know, we, we live in a fear-based world. You want to shift away from that kind of consciousness and use the last five minutes of your of your day to program your subconscious mind with what you have placed into your imagination with your I am's. I am well. I say it to myself every night, especially when I get into that, that state, you know, that weird state where you're sort of half awake and you're half asleep and you know you're heading towards that sort of that sub subconscious place. And I just remember what it says in the book of Job. I don't want my instructions sealed by going over, I am sick, I am poor, I am unhappy. I just say, I am content, I am lucky. When I wake up in the morning, I don't say, oh, good God, morning. It's the reverse. I say, good morning, God. You know, it's like being grateful rather than being in that place where the things that you don't want are what you have programmed your 
life to be. I always think of this as, um, you know, like you have a currency. And, and if, if I were to give you currency to go out and purchase what you, what you want, and every place you went, you took this currency that you have to purchase what you want, and you purchase what you don't want, and then when you get home and you wonder why your house and your life is filled with everything that you don't want, it's because you're insane. <laughs> That's just insanity. It is. I mean, why would you take what the currency that you have to buy what you do, that, that's there for what you do want, and spend it on what you don't want? Well, the currency that you have for attracting into your life what you would like to have are your thoughts and your imagination your, and your I am's, your God consciousness. Why would you use it to say, I am unable, I am unlucky, I cannot, I will not. You're throttling, that's what it says in the I am discourses, you're throttling that great I am presence that is located within you. And so the last five minutes of your day, as you're about to marinate for eight hours in your subconscious mind with your unconscious state, you want to go into that state. Even if you just, even if your senses tell you, oh, this is where you're just fooling yourself and so on. You don't want to use your senses and the internet and other people's opinions, what you see, what you hear. You want to let go of all of that and recognize that anything that you want to attract or create for yourself in your life begins with what you have placed in your imagination and have assumed the feeling of that wish fulfilled and now you're going to practice it because you want, I've been trying to get, I mean, to get this stuff out of your subconscious mind is a big job. It really is. People, most people are just not willing to do what it takes. I still can't get the Morse code out of my subconscious mind. I need to have a major deprogramming thing. There's that exit sign. It's always there. But that's just harmless. What isn't harmless is, you know, placing into your subconscious mind all the things that you're reviewing about what you don't like, about what didn't happen, about who mistreated you, about how sad you are, about how this can't happen. You are a creator.